Right, so leave Alf. He's been a busy boy, as always in the garden. And uh, oh, let's go and see how Carol's getting on with her ceiling still. She's not doing the ceiling. She's doing the housework. Oh, and again, she looks like Casper. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> you're quite scary. How you getting on with your ceiling? Oh wow. Not many things amaze me, but that does. What a difference. My God, that's like a billiard board now. No, it's not. I've only sounded around that edge. Okay, well, I'll let everyone else decide, but to me, that looks... I mean, my eyes aren't fantastic. That looks smooth as a baby's bum. Nah, I've still got all the sand in the middle on that side and then the whole of this side but at the same time as I'm going around I'm managing to clean up the coven a little bit as well. I feel like it might be a shower day darling looking at you. See the difference in the coven when I'm cleaning it up? Up in the coven? Oh yes. Yeah I can actually. How are you cleaning that up? With one of those um, fine sanding pads I was saying. Okay. So do you like my new look? I love it, absolutely, yeah. Now you've gone back to your normal English tan. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than your French Moroccan tan. Wow. Morning everyone, I'm back in the salon, surprise, surprise. Today is going to be a day of just finishing off the sanding of the pale mats and getting the coving ready and prepared for painting. Finally, yay! So there's still some sanding to do of the picture rail at the top i then need to put the sealer on the nail heads most of it's done there's still a couple of cracks that i've missed that i need to fill but the ceiling has all been sanded it may look a little bit rough and bumpy at the moment but that's just the shading from where i've sanded it it is actually all ready to paint now next week but today I'm going to spend well, the morning just preparing the coving now, making sure it's all clean and dust free. And then that is ready for painting as well. I've got to wait for the paint for that to arrive from England. It's going to be an alkaline resistant paint, just to make sure none of the peel away that could be left on there or none of the residue comes through the paint. So that's today's job is another preparation day. This will be the last of it, and once that's finished, it's clearing up. There's an awful lot of clearing up to do. Yeah, yeah, shovel ground loads, I think. Yes, and so what's on the ground under here? You know, one's actually investigated, apart from there's a ball down there. I know. Is that? That came from up the top there. Ah. You know, it's soil by the looks of it. Soil? Yeah. I was hoping for hard standing, that's a shame. Yes, I know you can stand on it hard. <laughs> but you know what I mean, if it was concrete, then the weeds wouldn't keep coming back up. Ah, no, no. You wouldn't get the trees growing you either. No. And there's a lot of asbestos as well to get rid of. Yes. But that's all the way around the garden, so it needs to be put into a pile and then got rid of... All at once. All at once, absolutely. You have to... Um... Make a special trip somewhere with that. There is a special place you can take it, yeah. but you have to wrap it all up first. Oh, I see. Oh, well. That's something that you would worry about later. Absolutely. Yeah. But like my mum says, don't do too much, Alf. No. Take lots of breaks. No, but the thing, the thing is, Carol, I, I haven't finished until I've got this bit done. <laughs> That's what I plan to do, plan to do. Find somewhere to be able to put the ladder.
I think we'll find my mother somewhere up on her hands and knees. Found lots of feeders for chickens and animals. So we shall use them somewhere in the garden. Oh, there she is. Are you in the pool? <laughs> She'll be in the pool later. So you got a bit carried away with the cobbles yesterday, didn't you, Mum? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I still say that they're coming further forward than here. But anyway, we will see later. But we got the hydrangea in, didn't we? The hydrangea was planted. And once it bushes out in there in that corner, it will look lovely. Uh, Mum's just going to carry on uncovering the cor the cor corners, cobbles along this wall of the coach house just to tie them up with the other side. So along to this side where she got a little bit carried away, I think. I think she was trying to uncover the whole of the courtyard, weren't you? <laughs> we will see. <laughs> I'm gonna, I've been told to leave her to it. She wants to do the job on her own so she can say she did it. And then she's going to work her way all the way across the garden to the barn. <laughs> Not. <laughs> um, are you doing Alf's job? Or is that your mum's job? You're supposed to be in the uh, salon. I've finished the ceiling. Whee! I'll rephrase that. I've finished sanding the ceiling. Hiya. Oh, here comes oh. the work away. No, I'm just clearing out this area here. Yes. That we've shown before. And I'm going to put some weed control on it. And then the mound of rocks that my mother uncovered up here. The ones that she protested over and... Uh, we had to have a conference. Yes, have a little meeting about. So I started digging them out last night after she'd gone to bed. Um, so when I've dug them all out, I'm going to put them down here, put some weed control down first, and then I'll put the rocks on top. And then we know if we need any rocks or cobbles, that's where they'll be. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah, well, I'll leave you with that little project. Well, right, let's just have a, a quick look, see how, or we'll see what else done and Wow, what a difference. My goodness. You're only as young as you feel. Uh, I reckon he feels like he's been 20 while he's gone through this. So all that, I we gave him the challenge of really just doing that bit. And Carol and I thought that'll be a challenge for him. But actually, he's thinned it out down here, started clearing it out, got rid of the uh, lower limbs and uh, all the netting's gone like there isn't any at all i think he needs a holiday so well done alf um you can definitely come again <laughs> tomorrow we'll just clear the last of this away and uh, we took uh, enormous a load today to uh, the shettery um but we'll do that tomorrow and well, now we'll go and see how the girls are getting oh well, that sums it up, doesn't it? Hey, I thought you weren't a sailor. Hello. There you flipping, <laughs> wallowing around on your raft. <laughs> ah, see, even Val deserves a break. As look, all the cobbles. I like the plumber's line. If I uh, show you that to work too, all that's cleared away now. You got no more work to do, have you? What's your next I job? I haven't finished the lab wire yet. Ah, the one that sort of preoccupies you when you've got nothing to do. That's right. So okay. I'll be back to that tomorrow. And Carol? Yes. You finished, did I hear, in the salon, as in the sanding? The ceiling and the coving is all ready for painting. So there's all hands on deck. Uh, the festival, which opens in two nights or two days' time. This is just the outskirts, so the main entrance, uh, which we're just about to walk through now, and uh, we'll show you around. So 
right, now we're inside the main field where the festival's being held, or the music part of things. Uh, this is Thierry, he's our uh, mayor of the uh, village. And uh, I don't really need to explain to you what that is, but uh, wow. So as I said, all hands on deck, trying to get this all ready for two nights time. And this goes right through till Sunday from Friday night. And uh, some people are telling me it stops at three in the morning as a break. And then other people tell me it never stops. It's music 24 hours. So uh, it's gonna be pretty noisy at the chateau. Carol practicing her French. But yes, looking forward. So one of the uh, tents they put up, this is bigger than our chateau. It is enormous. They, they really are going to town on this festival. Bars galore. Now over here in France, well, maybe they do have in music festivals uh, in England, they have a, a tent over there which sells condoms. They actually, they call them preservatives over here, but they actually have where they sell the condoms. This is the, uh, well, the road into our village. Um, even this gets all set up as well. So we've, we've left the actual site itself, but they're installing a bar there, I believe. Um, seating area for everyone, well, not everybody, <laughs> too many people. Um, they even fence off the uh, houses on the side um, and stop access to the uh, roads. Um, and the big theme, which I haven't really understood quite so can we know a bit more, <laughs> as we walk up into the village itself, is everyone's hanging their uh, umbrellas outside on the windows. Um, maybe they think it's going to rain, I don't know, <laughs> but I'll show you when we get there. So we're coming to the uh, the main street that comes through our village. Um, as I said, everyone's hanging umbrellas up. I mean, there's even Wellington boots. I haven't seen them before. Everyone is contributing, which is really good. And uh, it is all hands on deck back there. But it's good to see uh, how good it is for the village. They go so, on till 3.45 a.m. Oh, that's way past your bedtime, And darling. the night before. It's punk. Punk? 3.30 p a.m. Oh, okay. A bit of sex pistols. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Earplugs. Earplugs. An even better idea might be just move away from the village. Darling, they've heard you sing. Chateau for rent <laughs> for two nights. Yes. <laughs> More umbrellas. I think... Um, We'll do this year, just to say we've done it, but all, and I say all, a majority of our neighbours we've spoken to will actually go away for the weekend. I'm starting to see why now. Maybe I'm just getting too old for this. Cal, this is more your era. <laughs> just the wrong type of music, eh? And looking back down the village. Again, lots of bits of art, I'm guessing from the schools. And then we get to walk down to our road. <laughs> There's nothing. I think we're going to have to get an old umbrella and stick it out on the gate. At least to blend in with everyone else. Right, so although it's early, uh, early doors, we're at the festival. Um, I thought I'd bring along the uh, oldest swinger in town, Alf. He's going to show us how to rock. Um, but people are slowly rolling in, as you can see. And I think it's going to be a good night. A loud night, but a good night. Um, but Carol didn't want to come along. I think she's tired for too much work, overwork. 